Hi all and welcome back to a small help video. Today we are going to talk about the web browser Safari that comes with the iPad out of the box. And sometimes it can actually have some issues with the crashing and not doing as you expect it to do. So I have six different tips for you today to try and troubleshoot and solve some of the issues. Safari is right here. You see it's a web browser. You can see a lot of different things on websites so uh, it's very useful and a lot of people of course use it but it can actually sometimes crash and either just stop working or you can have it in a lot of different scenarios the first step that you can try if you have issues with your safari browser is that you can of course try and uh, turn your ipad on and off and uh, then it can actually solve the problem. I've seen that myself. So, and you can also do that for other issues on your iPad. That's the obvious one, the very easy one. The next one is to clear the history on your browser and to find the settings for your browser. You go into settings, go down here and over here you have Safari and you have a lot of different things you can configure for your browser. But down here you have clear history and website data. And if you click that one, you can see clear and the web browser will now not have your history in, uh, in it anymore. That can actually solve the problem and uh, off you go, try and open your browser again and see if it works. The next thing you can do is to uh, turn off the autofill and uh, you can find that up here on the autofill on the general section and in here you can turn off those two and that can actually solve your problem with crashing safari browser so that was step number three let's go to number four you can go into your account and in iCloud settings in here, you actually have apps using iCloud and you can see you have Safari right here and mine is actually using that one. You can turn that off. That can sometimes cause the problem and you can see turn off, keep it on my iPad, delete from my iPad. It's up to you. I usually do this and now I'm able to turn it off. So that's uh, another solution to your crashing uh, uh, Safari browser. Uh, the next one is uh, turning off uh, JavaScript. So we go back down to your Safari settings, go in here, go down at the bottom. We have the advanced, you go in here. And here you can see you have JavaScript that is turned on. And normally I would recommend it to be on, but if you have a crashing Safari browser, this can solve the issue. So turn that one off and uh, you can again try and see if your browser is working. The last thing you can do for a lot of different things is to reset your iPad. If the other steps didn't solve your issue, then you can do this. Go into settings on the general and in here you can erase all content and settings. And you of course press the erase now and it will erase all your content and settings on your iPad. Of course be aware to back up your uh, pictures, your music, whatever you have on your iPad or iPhone that could uh, be lost with this one. So uh, this is a small be aware uh, thing. Uh, make sure to uh, do a uh, backup of your iPad or iPhone before you erase your data. So that was all for now. I hope that some of the one of the steps actually can help you solve your issue with your Safari browser. I've seen it work, so uh, go ahead and try it out. Uh, 
See you next time. Bye bye.